Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube channel and I created this channel as a YouTube assignment for my social media marketing class and this is my first video face to face instead of reposting content as I usually do and in this video I will be showing you how I got this look and how I do my makeup look or my everyday makeup look so if you are interested in that keep on watching and yeah. So for my foundation, I have a combo. Um, since my foundation is not my color, nor is it my undertone, I have to go under it with um, Elf Camo Concealer in Medium Warm because that is a pale undertone and I am clear not a pale undertone. Um, this gives it to me. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but it works good. A beauty blender that I soaked with the Elf setting spray. Blend it out and I'll be right back. I went in with contour and for that I used the Conceal and Hydrate by Revlon. My Elf uh, Fair Warm. I go in with my concealer and my concealer brush. When applying concealer, never apply straight under your eye because you crease there. A lot of people ask me for my nose contour tutorial, so here's what I'm going to do. Start by going in my brows on both sides. And then I drag it into the eyes. Once that's done, I bring it down the bridge, like the line, you know, and where to give the illusion that you have a small one up. And just contour my button. And all that. When it, ooh, ooh, you okay? You okay? I'm gonna blend everywhere around but my under eyes. I'm gonna save that last. I'm gonna blend my T zone out. I'll be right back. Okay, now I wanna show you how to I blend my concealer so it doesn't crease underneath my eye. Now I start with the bottom, you know, like the dot, and then I dab. I don't drag, I dab, and I connect it to the bottom of the line that I drew and I drag it outwards and yeah and then I make sure it covers my nose uh, should I zoom in and show you how this is done and then I make sure I get this part of my nose this is so important I hate when I forget it because you can tell where the makeup you know like differentiates I eventually Work my way of my crease underneath my lashes and eyeballs, and I look up and I continue to just pat, 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 pat. Back is this part for my nose contour, just to see how it should be lined out. I take my damp beauty blender, I just gently, but effectively blend out all the harsh lines make sure everything blends together bronzing my face um by using black radiance true complexion and i don't know the shade and i put this on top of my contour just to set it in place before i do um, powder I usually do this after concealer because I look like a ghost and I hate that. So I just need to add some warmth. There's warmth to your face. You can use bronzer as contour and contour as bronzer. I typically use 
the two different products for the two different things. I take a angled brush. Let me zoom in. Oh, I was zoomed in. <laughs> Go in with the bronzer powder on her. And then like I like I said, lightly tap, tap, and drag. setting powder and this is the wet and wild photo focus dab a little bit on there and then dab the extra off on your hand for your under eyes because too much setting powder will cause it to crease so setting powder and finishing powder both fall under the translucent um, category and setting powder is to set your makeup in place and lock it Finishing powder is the last step in your makeup routine and it's to bring warmth back to your face which is why it varies in shade range and it also minimizes pores and gives you that soft matte face look. Setting powders come in multiple forms as in pressed powder and translucent powder. I personally like the translucent powder because I don't bake my under eyes, but I do bake my jawline and my nose. Baking with a translucent powder is so much easier than baking with a pressed powder in my experience. I just go over my T-zone. I don't bake my T-zone. I just go over it to set everything in place. Do my lashes and I'll be right back. Next, we will be going in with the blush and my highlight. So I use a, and I take the fluffy powdered brush, very pigmented. And when you do it, you only want to do it on the upper part of your cheeks. little on the nose and a little on the chin so you look sun-kissed going with a big fluffy brush just one more time pat that out blend that out this fairy dust the white one the white shade Blend that in. There's glitter everywhere in that hair. My inner corner, I will be using this brush and spraying it with the setting spray. And then I will just be popping that in my inner corner. Mm 
just going to Q-tip and get all the makeup on my inner corners. It's the Wet n Wild um, 666 Brandy Wine. Mac lipstick in Bated Breath. Put my setting powder on it with a powder puff to make it matte. I end with my finishing powder and went over my face the Maybelline Fit Me powder. As you can see, it's different tones because it's made to be warm back to the face. Um, I don't put setting spray on for the last step as like some other people do. Um, I noticed that dry makeup and wet setting spray tends to not mix and your makeup tends to separate easier. I set my face in between every liquid stage so it stays. All of my makeup was water-based. I have combination skin, but my skin is more so on the drier side than it is on the oily side. It's only oily on my nose. I use um, water-based primers, um, concealers, and foundations. And I also use the CeraVe Moisturizer as my skin prep, as well as the Lourage, however you say it. And then sunscreen and so on and so forth, as you've seen.